Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning March 11th, 2024. Got the candle lit, got the deck here, we're ready to go. Yes, I am getting this up a little bit late and I do want to remind you, I have thousands of videos up on my channel about angel numbers and just about any kind of spiritual topic you can imagine. I have a video on it. Or you can always go and just pick another video off of my channel and see what message is there for you. As a matter of fact, any new content that comes up, pair that up with something else that you are drawn to and you'll get an even bigger message. So there is that. If you don't know, I have been very sick. <laughs> I was very sick all last week. I was doing fine and then I was not fine. I was doing fine and then I wasn't fine. But now it, I'm still a little stuffy, but it has moved on. I am back in the game and I am still at about a one day wait time for personal readings. So now would be the time to do it, okay? Because I won't be able to keep up this pace. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible, but you know, other things could be coming up. Well, I definitely know I have um, projects coming down the road. So angelsouls444.com if you want to get in for a personal reading. Uh, here and there, I might be able to take a live session, but those are becoming rarer more rare rarer I, I i can't get a whole lot of them in but you can try angel souls 444 at gmail.com if you want a live session all right let's see what we have going on here a little bit of a wonky weekend um something had to be kind of like they're giving me the image of there's something on the table there and you keep trying to reach for it and it's just out of reach and you're trying so hard and you're just so focused on getting that one thing off the table. And the universe is like, we're putting it out of reach for good reason. And it finally just knocks it right off the table and says, enough, <laughs> stop going after that thing. So this is the energy we're coming into for this week. Yeah, the goblins. There are people that you are trusting that you should not be trusting. There's a direction that you're going in that is not going to serve you. All right. And this, this is definitely saying, be careful who you look up to. There's a big message around that. Be careful who you look up to. And the number on there is five. So we were just saying over this past weekend, even into Monday, you know, like things have been shifting around and it's trying to get you going in a direction of your highest good. <laughs> um, you're not going to be able to see it. I don't think, but there's a teeny tiny little, I think it's supposed to be a goblin there, bottom center. It kind of looks like a creepy frog, but that's the path you were forcing yourself to go down. Whether this is, I'm going to go down this career path because it'd be really cool to say that I do X, Y, and Z for a living. Or, um, you know, I, I think this would be a really great career growth opportunity. But you're going to be dealing with people who are not, they don't have very good energy or integrity maybe. And so maybe you're being shifted in a direction that might be less glamorous, but would make you so much happier, be around better people, and it ends up being a far better opportunity. As far as love goes, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but while I was down for the count, I was watching some TV shows, and there was a reality star. I want to be careful of like who I'm talking about and names that I say here, but let's just say I was watching a show that was centered around their life. And there was a love partner in there that I remember when I first saw that, like years ago. I thought, wow, you know, that guy is such a good guy. And, oh, she's so lucky. I went back and watched it being older and wiser. And I am stunned. I am stunned at how blatantly toxic this man was. I'm giving this as an example because you, we don't see in the moment, right? It's mostly once we get past it. So you might actually be upset that something got knocked off the table or, or an opportunity seemingly got taken away from you or things didn't turn out the way you had hoped. But when you look back, you're going to realize I was saved. All right. So if some of you feel like you're being rejected right now by a love partner. Okay. Yeah, because you got to open it up to this sacred pool. 47. That sacred pool is a divine download. It's opening you up for something that would make you truly happy so that you can come from divine inspiration. I'll give another example here. I was just <coughs> online earlier this morning and I saw someone post a video that said, you know, going along the lines of career, 
they were saying, you know, people who want to take their hobbies and turn them into careers, then you got to find another hobby, you know, because it's, it's not going to have the same feeling. It's not going to bring you the same type of enjoyment, right? And I thought that was so interesting because that's really, that's probably a big, you know, the Pluto shift and all that, you know, we're thinking differently now. But previously that was like, hey, get out there, monetize what you're good at, get out there and have your own business and all, all these things. And people are realizing it's a lot more stress. It's a lot more work than they ever bargained for. It's not for everybody, right? So this sacred pool card right after the goblins card is this week is a time where you're opening up and you're realizing where you've held, yeah, where you've held yourself up over ideals, right? Or just shifting your ideals. Maybe that worked for you for who you were 10 years ago, but it's not going to work now. Feel me? So this is going along the lines of professional things, um, belief systems, love partnerships, what you hold dear, how you approach your health. You know, there, there might have been a way that you approached your health even for the past several years that is just no longer good for where your body is right now. Okay, that's, that's what's happening this week. So it's going to feel a little messy and it's going to feel like things are in pieces. Don't let that bother you. Try, try to just remember like, that's okay. This is just uh, things that needed to break up and, and move out of your life. That's what's occurring. Okay, so the number is 18 here. Magic Stream. I love these cards. This is a Colette Baron Reed deck. I've had it for years. I don't, I, I don't know why I didn't it out and use it more on video but I do have a link for the deck some of the tools that I use those are in the description box if you want to check out those affiliate links okay so magic stream with sacred pool I can't stress enough do not stress <laughs> as things start to change there's going to be a mourning process here okay because something is coming along <coughs> pardon me <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, there's something coming along that is absolutely, you know, redirecting your attention. Again, people you used to put on a pedestal, you're like, oh my gosh, now I see you. I see you as the goblin. Okay. I see you as the goblin who was taking my magic. I, I see you as the person who wanted to diminish me so you felt better about yourself. Or, you know, I used to be a part of this company or I did this role and I realized I'm more bored in that role than if I had taken something I really thought was boring. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, there's a shakeup here. There's something that's very unexpected. And uh, it's a clear, yeah, they're saying it's a clearing process this week. Mountain number six. So this is standing strong. This is healing. This is getting grounded. This is, I want to say, sort of reclaiming your mystery, right? Like the mysteries and things that... They're saying self-mysteries, yes. So opening up self-mysteries. So I think in large part this week has to do with rediscovering yourself and rediscovering, as, as simplistic as it sounds, what do you really want? A lot of you know that I just moved back to a small town that I'm from. And I realized that I was out there, you know, I wanted to go on my adventures. I'm, I'm doing all the things. I... First, I went from, you know, my hometown to Columbus, Ohio, which was the big city for me, okay? Uh, from there, I went to Los Angeles, if you can imagine. Los Angeles to New York City. I lived uh, in Jersey City for a bit. I lived outside of Philly for just a few months. It wasn't very long. And then I moved to Colorado Springs, and then I moved back. And in all of those times, living all kinds of different places in the United States... Everywhere I was searching for was in my hometown the entire time. Sorry, my voice is really weird. <laughs> Again, I'm fine. It's just, it's going to be, it's going to be weird for a little bit. But anyway, you know, everything that I was searching for was already in my hometown. Now, I'm very happy for those adventures. I'm very happy for the lessons that I learned through all of that. But I had to come back home. Plus, I think there's plenty of things happening on the horizon that, um, I know for me, it was going to be the right thing to be near my family and definitely not in New York City. So I know some of you in New York go like, 
Wait, wait, quit telling us that. I actually had somebody say, quit telling us there are going to be earthquakes in California. What do you want us to do about it? You keep saying it, but what should we do about it? I don't know. You chose to live in on a fault line. You tell me. What, what should you do about that? Floridians. Hurricanes. They, they, they got their eye on you, okay? I don't know. What, do, what does one do when they choose to live where hurricanes happen? You do that, right? So my big thing, now that I'm back where I came from, uh, it's going to be tornadoes. So we handle tornadoes the way we handle tornadoes. It's very specific to your life choices, okay? So if you're going to live in a region that is, you know, could be having lots of things going on there, could be a target, God forbid, you know, all those kinds of things, then you need to be prepared for where you live. And that's nobody else's responsibility, and it's nobody else's fault for reminding you, okay? They're actually helping you out. Okay, here we go into the unknown, number seven. There is something very divinely guided, guided, what am I trying to say? Divinely guided <laughs> happening this week for a lot of you out there. Again, if you want to get a personal reading, I am getting those turned around quickly. Please don't worry about my health. I've, I've got this covered, okay? I appreciate you guys who are like, oh, you know, you just need to rest. I have rested, and please remember when you do that, this is how I make my living, okay? So please don't discourage people from, or feel, have them feel bad about getting a reading with me when that's how I pay my bills, okay? Thank you. All right, so into the unknown, there's a new offer coming, uh, and it's out of the blue. Yeah, like, she's blindfolded, and I just feel like you do not see this coming. And it could be a lot of different life areas, okay? Into the unknown. Um... A love offer from somebody you just randomly meet someone or someone's friend they introduce you and maybe you weren't planning on going out that night and then you ended up doing it at the last minute you know those kinds of things um, a job you maybe applied to okay so listen up about this again it's gonna be specific to each of you angelsouls 444.com if you want to get a personal reading about that but there could be something that you applied to a while ago put your resume in and you didn't think that you were ever going to hear, and then suddenly you hear back. Or it could be an offer from a life direction that you didn't originally think that that would be an option for you, or you didn't see yourself go in that direction, but now that it's here, you realize, hey, this is a, this is a good gig. Okay, you know, like this is really cool. Um, there's something to some of you who are looking to get into um, a certain doctor's office, like some of you need like a specialist, it's coming through this week. It For some of you, it may not be the exact specialist that you think you want to get in with. Uh, it could be someone else, but they're just as good and they can help you uh, pinpoint what's going on. All right. So those are the opportunities that we have this week. That's the energy. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I know what that sounds like. I know maybe for some of us, like past couple of weeks, it's felt like we're just spinning our wheels, um, trying to get things accomplished and everything's taken way longer than we thought. Uh, when it goes to things like a job, remember that there are thousands of applicants going into some of these jobs and it does take some time um, to sift through all of that. So, you know, this might, this might be the week. This might be the week that you hear something or at least there's a a glimmer of what's to come. If you meditate during this time and ask your angels to show you how things may open up for you, you'll get more information that way. But uh, just make sure the ego is not involved. That's why I personally feel like, not just because it's how I make my living, but I personally feel like it's a good thing to get a reading and get a different perspective. That way you're not, your emotions are not interfering with the messages that are trying to come through. Okay, so we will leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.